So if you are using Teams at your place of work, this plus sign here, once you click on this plus sign, it gives you so many different features, so many different applications that you can use. So once this load, um, you will see all the different apps, like let's load for more apps in here. Now, sorry. Once we load on this application now, we'll have different different stuff that will come into play, like so many different applications will come into play. Different stuff you can see here. Like you want uh, power automated, you have one the Azure board, Jira Cloud projects, you want workday, whatever you want. There are so many hidden features that are in here. To have them as a scrum master to have them as a coach you can link so many different stuff so um microsoft is really adding making this to be a very very uh giant tool that you can use but let me show you the most handy one that you really you really make a lot of sense to you as a scrum master or as a coach So now, once you click on the plus sign, this is where you're going to land. You will see that you have your whiteboard, you have your OneNote, you have your Stream, you have Miro, you have Azure DevOps, Excel, PDF. Some of these were already in here, but we're going to focus on the hidden treasures under the whiteboard. So if I happen to click on this, this is now where the good thing now comes in. As it loads, you'll see some cool, great stuff that um microsoft have here i'm just gonna label it so maybe you can just have it like one-on-one -on -one board or your project board where you can track everything that you are doing then i can save it once i save it now it's gonna pop up once it pops up you see the heavy treasure that are in this whiteboard it's just a lot so as a Scrum Master, as an Agile Coach, as a PO, it's good for you to have it. It's good for you to know it. So in here, you can see your notes, you can see your text, you can see your, 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 uh, your shapes, reactions, images, templates, documents, links, and videos. Once you open on your template, this is where it becomes interesting very interesting you can have your brainstorming you can have your problem solving you can have your design and research you can have strategy you have your project planning you have your retrospective your games workshop or the like let's open projects now when you open on your project planning it is so powerful where you can have everything under one umbrella you can set your daily stand up you can set your future goals can set your goal settings then you also have your uh, job to be done if you are also using kanban you can have it then you can also have your product block funnel then you can also have your pro uh, like your program increment of uh, air planning if you're in a uh, safe environment you can also have that then you can have your project kickoff also then you can also have your success metrics you can also have your team alignment can also have your team planning and you can also have story mapping this is very very important for example if you guys are working on a key project or if you guys are about to kick off a project or if you guys are like starting a project or you guys are in your sprint zero or in a sprint you can have all of this in and the cool thing is that you can have this in you can log them, you can have them, multiple of them, and it makes your work a lot more easier. So, like in here, if I should expand this, you can see that we have the persona, we have the user activity, we can set our release one, release two, release three, release four. You can set all of this. We are using the user story mapping. Then there's a key way that you can lock this and it will not move. You click on this select, this three dot. When you click on it, you can lock it. Once you lock it, this will not be able to move. So very, very important. Just if you have been if you have used Miro before, it makes it a lot more easier. Once you click on this, it opens up. Once you click on it, it opens up. Once it opens up, you can resize it, you can write your node, you can either use your mouse 
stuff like that. So it's very, very, very handy. You can track it every blessed day. You can look at it every blessed day. So now it has opened. You can see now here your user story mapping. Use the template to define your uh, story journey and plan. You can create your release, create your story map by identifying your users and their activities. So everyone can come in here. You can always sync up with your PO. So if you sync up with your PO, it's kind of cool. You can look at the activity here. So so important that you understand some of these hidden treasures that are found that are embedded in Microsoft Word. So very, very important, very, very handy. Most often you can also add and you can also delete. You can also log just a particular section. So now here you can as well copy. So clicking on this, you can then now lock it. Then it cannot move anymore. And you can unlock it as well. So you can lock sections or the entire template uh, as a whole. So you come now here. The cool thing is you can also, like as I mentioned, you can add your daily stand-up. So if to say let's let's happen, let's let's delete this. So I'm resizing this by using my mouse. And then we can take this this end. We are building our board. Then click on my daily stand up. With the template, I can hover with it. I can move it. I drop it. Once I drop it, it loads. So once it loads, now I can expand it. So in this, I can then now know where we are what you did yesterday what you do today are there any blockers you have them handy so maybe there was there were some challenges that you were following up you can just document them here very very important so as you are coming into your daily stand up you already can look at it maybe you had your one-on-one -on -one with your PO, maybe with your team members then you can now start to be identifying or before you can actually like you actually start your daily stand up. You have gone through your emails. You have seen that the team is being blocked by some key issues and you'll be tackling them during your daily stand up. You document them here. These are some blockers. You can set up your date. You can set up the date. Then you already have this. This is what I'm about to track. Also, you can set your planner too for the day. Now, another key thing that I've really loved, I've really loved about this stuff is goal settings. It is so important because many at Times we don't hit the sprint goal, we don't hit the project goal, or we don't hit our product goal simply because we didn't have uh, the goals. You can set the goals based on the release, based on the project that the team is working on. So if I should reduce this, I can move it again to my left. Now we have another template, another room here. So I'm about to set our goals. So we can set our goals based on what we are working on, based on what the team is working on. So it depends. You need to know the team so well so that you should be able to have a vivid understanding on how you can set all of this. So it's really, really important. So let's let's take for example here. You can see here that when we talk of the goals, you can now see where it's stating like goal setting. Use this template to figure out what goals you can define the goals. You can define the anti-goals. Like this is not going. What is stopping us? How are we gonna get this? Where should we? What do we need to do? How can we get stuff done? We said this in sprint one, we said this in sprint two, because each time you have your goals, it helps you to retrospect, it helps you to inspect, and it also boosts the team to adapt. So it is so important that you understand some of this key stuff. So if you happen now to open again, we can now come now here in our templates. So let's look at problem solving. Now, this is one of the key tools that you face at your place of work. You want to solve problems, you want to do stuff. Now, the assumption grip, the cause and effect diagram. You can see here the cost, the benefit, and the analysis. You can also create the customer problem strategy in the five wise gap analysis. Then you have now your gap analysis. 
then you have your importance feasibility analysis then you have your roles your tones and the boards so these are some key tools that if you are really challenged with your project that you are working on you guys are running into things also too this is not only just for scrum also in your project also at the product level so once you have this as a scrum master it is so important or as a project manager or as a coach these are some hidden key resources that are so vital when you are using microsoft teams so if we happen to open this or assumption grip so for assumption grip has opened let me resize this and so we can move that away Now, you can see our, our assumption group here. So, this assumption group, it gives you key things. What are the assumptions? We set them in here. What are the questions? Then, decisions and follow-up. Set them. What are their creativity? What is the risk? We analyze all those things. So, you have everything under one umbrella. You can set your board in such a way that once you just come in, you see everything from a glance you can adjust your board you can you can lock it like as i mentioned the key thing is always try to lock it so that there will not be movements then you can see the cause and the effect in the effect diagram so you can bring them in here it is so important that you understand some of this key stuff because as a project manager or as a project coach or whatsoever is your role or as a program manager or as a project manager you need to have all of this because in all your projects you always you always discover that you always run into issues you always run into challenges so important so we do have one of our key and very good template that i really love using and it's just so handy that you can have it your decision and research this is a very very key very very key key part in your project success the design and the research design and the research because at the early stage when you start to spy your project you start to get stuff you get feedback you are looking at the different stuff it gives you that little window of which you can do some key changes you can adapt you have your uh, affinity diagram you have the empathy map you also have the feedback grid then you have the kernel model then you also now have your mode board then you have your simple journey map you have your storyboarding so these are some of the key stuff that are really embedded in microsoft teams so it's so loaded there are so much there is so much that you can benefit from as a scrum master or as a business analyst or as a coach or as a product manager or as a program manager also developers can also use it a lead they can use it so these are some of the key stuff that are really hidden once you come back again into your post sign discover that there is still more you can get you open on this template you can now see the, the, the fun part the retrospective okay so maybe in your team you can run your retrospective here rather than using maybe um idea board or maybe rather than using um, um easy retro but you have them in here 4l what did we learn what did we like what did we long for oh you can use your house retrospective in your house retrospective you identify the challenges you bring out the strength and then you set the opportunities and then areas of improvement because it is what constant mode for us to inspect and to adapt what made you mad what made you sad what made you glad we also have our quick retrospective what were our runs roles what were our turns what were our book you also have your sailboat then what should we start doing what should we stop doing what should we continue doing as a team then you have all of these cool stuff. These are some of the rich resources that are embedded in Microsoft Team. That you can do it. You can get it. And it's just so handy. It makes your job easier. The Scrum Master, you can bundle all of these, set this right, and it makes your day going. It makes your job a lot more easier. So, I hope you found this video helpful. Find the content important. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. And I tell you, Stay connected so that you will not miss any of my latest updates. Thank you.